Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm here on Need for Speed Payback once again to test out La Katrina's 240Z. Now, this wasn't about the car that was out yesterday. Pretty much if you're watching this in chronological order, this is the video that came out after yesterday, believe it or not. Uh, anyway, yesterday we had this abandoned car, which was this, the 240Z as a race build. Pretty much maxing this thing out as much as I possibly could. I'll show you guys all the performance customization that I've done to it. As you can see, triple outlaw, triple Shidori parts. They're actually pretty good. Overall, I think uh, I think this is a very, very fast car. 0 to 60, 1.8 seconds. Not too bad. 229 top speed. Um, and the handling is actually very good in this thing, which is what I want to talk to you guys about in this video. So I will go ahead and pretty much take this thing out, test it, and show you guys what exactly it's like. Now, obviously, since this is an abandoned car, you can't actually modify or do anything to it at all. Uh, well, since this is an abandoned uh, car, that's a boss's car, I guess. Uh, usually with the normal cars, you can. Uh, now, the main and most important thing about this car is this was already released before. And that means that the list for bosses cars have reset. So if you guys have missed any of the bosses cars, they will end up coming out again from the very beginning, including this one, which was already out uh, yesterday. So um, if you guys have not gotten it yet, I'll link you guys to the video. It'll be down in the description box below. You guys can check it out where you guys can get her car. Uh, again, you can't really do anything to it uh, customize-wise. Like, you can't, you can't do anything to that. I, I think you can put bags on it. Uh, you can put underglow and all that sort of stuff on it if you really, really wanted to. Uh, which, sure, here, I'll, I'll do something just, just for the fun of it. Because I have so many things to add on this car. Um, but I'll just do it just for the fun of it. So, that's the only stuff that you can actually change on this thing. And obviously the performance parts. But th that's that's pretty much it. And uh, why is this important, you may be asking. Why, why does it matter? Like, they're, they're giving away the cars again for free. Uh, well, first of all, for the people that haven't gotten a chance to get these, the older people, like or like the newer people, instead of the older people, like if you guys started off playing the game when it was released, obviously you and you're like still invested in the game, you would have gotten this car. If you haven't, and if you only recently started playing this game, then these are very important cars for you because these are these are nice, cheap, abandoned cars. If you don't want it, you can literally just get it and sell it, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Just get it and sell it. This again is another abandoned car. That was just around, this was, uh, oh, I can't remember what the guy's name is exactly, um, whose car this was, but either way, this again, abandoned car, if I sell it, I get 110 grand. Granted, I didn't max this thing out with power, so yeah. This, again, another abandoned car, kind of cool thing to have. I think it was actually kind of fun to, to get one of these things. I didn't actually max this thing out, if I wanted to sell this thing, I can still get money for it. It's just, it's still free. Uh, now, again, like I said, the most important thing, why is this important? That means that since the list reset, you guys can now get a chance to get this. This is one of the most sought after cars in this game. And the reason for that is because this you can't get this any other way. It is the only one time that you can get it, or you could have gotten it, was during one of the weeks where the abandoned car was just this. And that's it. There's nothing else that you could have done to get this car in any other way. So this is a Ford Crown Victoria, obviously. Um, and this is the police car that they usually use in this game. Now, I wish it would be kind of cool to get the Dodge Charger as well. The police cars of those, they would be kind of nice to have. Uh, but Need for Speed have confirmed that the uh, police car, this, the Crown Vic, is actually going to be coming out again into rotation as an abandoned car again. Don't know exactly, they haven't specified, but it is coming out. Uh, and, you know, everybody is going to get a chance to get and play with it again. Anyway. Now that I'm done talking for the past four minutes uh, about pretty much stuff that will be coming out in the game, um, for people that are still interested in that, thank you for watching it. If you want to uh, to skip ahead, I guess, well, uh, now it's a bit late now, isn't it? For telling you guys to skip ahead. Anyway, let's just drive this thing. I'll show you guys what this thing is like. What is it like with bags, though? I've, I haven't actually put bags on this yet. That's really low. It actually doesn't even look that bad. It really doesn't look bad at all. It's not, like, low enough to where, like, it looks bad. It's just... It's actually pretty nice looking. All right, anyway. Um, so, yeah. What I wanted to do is test this car out. It's actually not that bad to drive. And, obviously, we're going to bring it to the um, to the hyperspace circuit race. And, uh, and we're going to test this thing out. I mean, I've already driven it, so I know what it's like. But, obviously, you guys haven't. Unless you've gotten the car yesterday. Um, but, yeah. Usually, these cars are available for, for one week. Sounds pretty good. Um, I ended up giving it a lot of NOS as well. Um, and it's... It's fast. 
Even though it already says it's got over 700 horsepower, it is fast. It is fast. And one of the main and most important things about it that I like is that the handling is pretty good. The handling is pretty good. When people ask me, or like when people tell me that the uh, 911 RSR or the Koenigsegg, like they have cars that can beat them. And I'm here like, I, no you don't. <laughs> no you don't. You just don't. Um, this is one of the cars that gets close, right? This is one of the cars that gets actually quite close to beating the 911 RSR. Not the Koenigsegg, because the Koenigsegg is just out of their league completely. But it is a very fast car. And I have never done a build on this in the past as a race build, so I, I, I don't know like how fast, or I didn't know until now, how fast this car actually was as a, as a race build. It is really fast. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's really, really fast. And it's very, very easy to use. You can keep it at over 200 miles per hour a lot of the time. Obviously with the last corner here, you can't keep it at over 200 miles per hour, but... Turning in is very, very easy. Just tap the e-brake on the normal brake and then boom. Hop into a corner very quickly. So again, it's very, very easy to control. Super, super easy to control actually. Just try to crash to a wall like me. Because I'm an idiot. But overall... Overall, lovely car to drive. Very, very, very smooth. Oh, I ruined it completely because it crashed. That's awful. That sucks. See, grinding, if I was going to grind off the wall, I would end up getting much faster lap times. But, I mean, that's not the, the point of this. The point of this is to test out how good or bad the car's handling is. And see what sort of times I can get by doing that instead of just grinding myself off the wall, which is what people usually do to get faster times on the on hyperspace. See, so if I do that, I can just keep my speed up a little bit more. So 144. I mean, it's all right. It's all right. I'll do one more run just so just so I don't crash the people. But a 144 with this thing is not bad at all. I think with the um, with the 911 RSR, um, I think I can squeeze out like a 142. Maybe even better than that if I don't grind off the wall. Look at it. It's just all its side. Uh, but yeah, I can I can 100% squeeze out a 142 or something like that if I don't crash into the into the wall, or not crash, I guess, but if I don't, like, grind off the wall um, to try and go even faster than, uh, than what I'm usually allowed. So, I'll give this one more shot. Try not to crash the things, try not to, um, <laughs> try not to get pushed or do anything with the AI. Obviously, we, we will end up lapping them, which is pretty much what the most annoying thing is, is because you, once you lap them and they all just get in the way, they're just annoying to just be there, because this isn't a very, very wide track. It's not even a track, to be honest, it's just... A little bit of a of a loop. It's a very very easy event to test out cars. I like this event a lot. I always have. I've told you guys in the past. It's very easy because it tests tight corner right here. It tests your acceleration speed. It tests your jumping and landing. Like, will it keep your speed up when you land there? How far do you jump and like how can you reduce that? The surface is uneven, so that's kind of fun to test that out. See if it's, see if you gotta change anything on your car to be able to fix that. And you just have to have a good line all the time, testing out your whole brake to drifting thing. Yes, I know the physics in this game aren't supposed to be, like, oh god, <laughs> the physics in this game aren't supposed to be like the type of physics where you you be able to change like little bits and pieces out of your suspension to be able to. To make the car run better or worse, but there are still things even in the live tuning. I haven't done anything to the live tuning, by the way, on this car. It's it's completely, completely standard. I hate I hate doing that. I hate it so much. I hate coming up on the on the cars. I slow down so much for that. It's just annoying now. It's fine. Last lap. Try to get this done. Try to finish this off now. I love the way it drives. The only problem again is just other oh, cars getting in the way. There's a 141. Very, very good car. Very good car. So it's it's almost up there. Almost almost on par with the 911 RSR, which makes it one of the fastest cars in the game. And it's it's really impressive. It's really, really impressive. 
The only thing about the 911 RSR, you don't need a knee brake. You just don't need it. When you break the drift and that thing, it actually slows down so much. And the rear end just pops out. It's it's lovely to drive. Uh, but yeah, this is, again, quite easy to drive. Again, you just need you need your e-brake to be able to take that last, uh, the last tighter corner there. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, it's a very, very good car to drive. Very, very good. Very much comparable to the 911 RSR. Um, even though I do think that the 911 RSR still has a little bit of an edge up on this thing. And obviously, it doesn't come close to the Koenigsegg, just like any other car in this game. <laughs> because the Koenigsegg is the Koenigsegg. It's, uh, it is the best car in the game, or, or the fastest car in the game. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see any more Need for Speed, I will try my best to make more and more videos on it. I have already done many, many builds in the past. If you guys are here for Need for Speed specifically, I've done so many videos in the past on Need for Speed. Um, Payback Need for Speed 2015, all that sort of stuff. Um, and they're just they're on the channel, obviously. You guys can go ahead and watch them. And if you guys are requesting for me to do more and more videos on this on this game, it's very, very, very difficult to do that because I've done so many videos and pretty much running out of ideas here because there's, the game is pretty much dying out now, especially since Forza Horizon 4 is coming out. That's going to be an unreal game to play. Uh, and that's pretty much the game I'm going to be sticking with a lot um, once, uh, once it comes out. So you guys are going to see a lot of that on the channel once that is released. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.